Hey guys, all right, so we're just gonna jump right into the video. Today I am gonna do something more on like the natural, but I do wanna talk to you guys. Let's start off with prepping my skin. I am picking up the Pore Professional Pearl Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. I do love this one more than the original primer. And I feel like a lot of people either feel that way or they like the other one better. Um, but I like this one because it does give you like a very light sheen of glow using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in Y315, which is my favorite foundation right now. For concealer, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And I love concealer. So even though I don't need it for like necessarily dark circles, I love it to brighten. Alright, so also, you guys, September is here. My favorite season of all time is fall. I am a fall baby. I'm a November baby. And so I love fall. And so with that said too, October's coming up and Halloween's coming up. So let me know what looks you guys want to see. I love doing special effects makeup. So if you guys want to see something like gory and like something like, you know, more on the special effects side, let me know. Um, last year, so let me say, I think two years ago, I wasn't as, I was more active on Instagram than, you know, YouTube. So I did a lot more gory stuff and more like tutorials on Instagram. But then last year I decided, you know what, let's go the easier, the more beginner route. And so I didn't do that much special effects on my channel last year um, because I wanted you guys to be able to also follow along and then you know it was more like affordable ma uh, Halloween makeup tutorials so if you guys want me to stick with that let me know what looks you guys want to see because of course I need to start working on it and also something super exciting happens this month super exciting if you guys know what I'm talking about leave it in the comments down below because the day we've been waiting for is going to be here very, very soon in the month of September. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I forgot to get my bronzer. We are back. You guys already know, this is like my favorite thing ever. This is the Make Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in Y505. I love this. I use a clean beauty blender so that I don't mix my other blender with like the, uh, the bronzer. And then I just start bronzing up. Getting nice and warmy and toasty. But you guys know how I would always always use the uh, Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro Contour Kit in Tan to Dark. Yeah, well, I lost it. Like, lost it. Like, I have not had it in, like, probably two weeks. I lost it. I use it in every single video. And I lost it, like, two weeks ago. And I cleaned out my room, so I don't know what happened to it. Oh god, my biggest nightmare is like, what if like I accidentally threw it out? Fuck. I don't know, but I've been struggling to find a warm bronzer. Um, because not only a warm bronzer, a tone that I love, but also like the formula was so good because it was so buildable. <sighs> and the thing is, is like, yes, it was sent to me and yes, I can go out and buy it. But like technically I didn't use the other two shades. So I'm like right now, like... If I really want it, I'll just buy the entire thing again. But again, the other two shades I didn't really touch. I just like that middle shade that was in there, you know? So that's why I'm just like, uh, let me try and see if I... And you guys, I have an entire bronzer drawer. I was like, it's not the same. Like, <laughs> the tones are not the same. And the formula wasn't the same either. And it was from Bare Minerals. So now let's go ahead and start setting my face. Now I do use a lot of powder. You guys, you guys are going to think that this is crazy ridiculous and you know what it is like at the end of the day this is very ridiculous I, I need all these powders to set my face I know I know go ahead judge away but you guys I need it like I have oily skin and each powder performs differently so for my under eye um I love this powder so much and I know I've talked about it you guys and no it's not sponsored or anything but I really freaking love this one this is the filtered effect soft focus HD setting powder and I love to set my under eye because it's so fine and it doesn't give you any flashback it doesn't like it's, it's just so good it's not chunky it's so good next up to set my face I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is the original loose powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face with this 
The next one is my Matte Studio Fix Powder in C4. And then I use a, sorry, a fluffy brush. This one's from A Cosmetics. And I just kind of go in and pat in this powder. But at the same time, I'm also dusting away the translucent powder that we added. Now this one right here is a basically a uh, powdered foundation. So this will add coverage. And so I like this one because if I do have breakouts, um, this will go ahead and like not only cover my acne a little bit better, but like my texture as well. And it will make everything look really smooth. And I love that. The last one is this powder. This is the Translucent Loose Glow Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. And I put this one, I'm going to use the same um, brush. And I only use a little bit, you guys. Like, I don't know where the actual Laura Mercier brush is. I ended up washing all my brushes the other day, so it's here somewhere. But I want to take some off. And I love using this, like, top of my cheekbones because it is glowy. So it's kind of like a highlighter, as you guys can see. That is a big difference. So from that to... You know, it just adds some glow, but I don't know. I don't use this as, like, so much as, like, straight highlighter. I just use this to, like, give me, like, an overall glow to my skin. So I go ahead and put some here on my chin. If you have texture majorly, like, I'm not going to put it in this area here because it will emphasize that and it will make it look worse, girl. And that's not what we want. For my nose contour, I am still using, you guys, I'm so obsessed with the Morphe X Britney Bear Makeup 360 Nose Contour Set. And it does come with these three brushes right here. So now you have, like, the one that you apply, like, your product with. This is for, like, the tip of your nose or to be more precise with it. And this is where you will go ahead and blend everything out with or just, like, add some highlight to the side of your nose. It is such a good brush. I feel like these two right here... I know that I have a collection from like this really expensive brand. I'll go ahead and put it here on the screen. Oh, um, Artiste. Artiste does sell brushes like this, but not only are they crazy expensive, um, I find that these that are sold in the set are just a lot more um, practical just because, again, you have you buy everything as a set, and it's really, really inexpensive. It's probably like $15 because that's like nothing compared to like our Artiste brush and like all these other ones. So I really love these right here. And then this one, this one is basically one that you'll never find. Like, this is one that I feel like if I lost, I would definitely buy the entire set all over again. Like, no questions asked because this is one of the softest, fluffiest brushes, but also the dome shape of it. It's just so perfect to fit on the side of your nose and then to blend. So I really like this. Um, so I go ahead and take my hula. And I actually use, I'm going to use this one, which is the M6 right here and then I'm just going to stamp it on take some off and then I am going to put some on like the back of my hand so like not much is um is on the brush and then I just start here and what I find that's easier for me is like moving my head back and forth you guys leave me a thumbs up if you guys are also like nose contour freaks like I feel like a nose contour it's like everything like it can either make you look or break your look though like no lie because I know that I have some pictures where I'm just like what in the fucking world was I thinking but for the most part love okay so I'm also gonna take some here to the tip of my nose to shorten it up a bit and to kind of give me like a lift this is all an optical illusion guys <laughs> basically and then I hold it upside down and I blend it into my eye socket and into my brows. So now I'm taking this one which is the M3 which is a really really fine one and again put some powder on it, some of the hula and then just take the tip. It kind of starts giving you like a little cute button nose. Where is my my favorite brush okay this is the mo brush right here and then i'm going to actually take some of my powder whichever face powder and this is how i like to blend it so i'll go ahead and take some dust a little bit off and then just go ahead and blend these lines and i don't blend it back and forth just because i feel like with my skin if i do that it'll go ahead and disturb everything that i work for under so i'm just kind of like patting going back and forth but more like padding motions for sure. There we go. That is smudged. Okay. 
not done yet. Now I'm going to come with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills original concert kit. You guys, this is the first one ever that she created. It is literally so old and so disgusting, but it is my favorite, like one of my favorite contour powders um, that are in a palette like this. The banana though, I have replaced. So this is the this is the second one that I bought um, because of course they're refillable pans and that's so much easier. But I do take the um, these two, the pink and the yellow. I go on the side of the line, so like right on the side, and then I start bringing in more of the highlight. You see like that? That makes the lines a little more prominent as if like that part was a part of my under eye. That's basically what you're doing. This one is the Make It Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter in the shade 02. There is two shades. The one is more like a, like a light iridescent pink, and then this one is just like straight up like you guys it is magic but it's more like really really soft you see how soft that is it's really soft it's not chunky it's not glittery it's not none of that I do like to clean off my m3 from the same 360 nose contour set and then I do like doing this and then also just applying it straight onto the bridge of my nose I'm just going to hit it one time for today I'm gonna to be using this palette right here this is the Cialte London Astro Lights palette in the shade Burnt or in the palette, I guess I have two palettes, so this one's Burnt. Um, this one is, looks like this, you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. Like these colors are so, so nice and the palette is just overall really, really cute. And I did go ahead and do this, um, use this palette for this photo right here that I posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys loved it. I'm definitely not going to be doing anything like that crazy right now just because I am just going for like a more subtle everyday look with this palette. Now using the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush, I'm going to dip into this color right here. Now taking the same fluffy brush that I used earlier, my Sigma uh, E40, and I'm just going to blend that color off. To just add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to come in with that third matte down here, and this is going to go onto my lash line. Taking that Luxie 121 again, and I'm just going to be blending that brown out with whatever is already on the brush. That's basically all that we're going to do with our eyes. So now I'm going to go off camera, do my eyebrows, because Lord, that takes forever, and I will be right back. All right, so now I am going to add on my lashes. Now, I did want to talk about this because this is, you guys, I'm a really supportive person. Like, I love to support people, and I love supporting my friends, especially if they're winning. I feel like I'm winning. When I'm winning, I want them to feel like they're winning. Um, so my friend just launched this brand, and they are called 818 Girl Lashes. So she sent me, sorry, I feel like burping because I just had some water. Um, she sent me three different styles. And now this one is obviously already cut, and I've already worn these. This is the style Haiti, H-E-D-Y. And then they also, she also sent over these right here, and these are Ginger. And then these right here are Monroe. This is what this pair looks like. Let me see, so there's no glare. For my lips, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in Caramel Nude. This is a great formula, and the color is so, so nice. For my lips, I will be using the Me Matt Hughes Long Wearing Liquid Lipstick from The Balm Cosmetics. You guys, I had this in like a travel size, like really, really small. And this is in the color Committed. Well, did I say that? I don't even know. Um, and I ran out of it and then totally forgot to go out and buy it. So I was super stoked when I saw this in the PR box that they sent. So I'm going to be using this on top of the lip liner. But do you see what I'm saying? Like you could wear this just like on its own and it's still really pretty. So this formula is really nice. Alright guys, so this is my finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also my little chat and just watching me use new stuff and old stuff that I forgot I even had. So that's it you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I love you guys. I will see you next time.